clicked on the FLX Music 247 button, you're joining me here in the studio with Finger Lakes One. And I want to give a thanks to, to Paul and Nathan and Caleb who have helped me out all summer. Uh, so the podcast is about a 20 minute uh, episode to help highlight the upcoming music events here in the Finger Lakes area. Uh, we'll be talking about music events this week, August 11th through August 17th, to help you find uh, the hot spots and the hot shots here in the Finger Lakes. FLX Music. 247.com is an online searchable calendar with all the live music events in one place. You can search by date, you can search by town, you can search by specific venue if you'd like. You can also use the color codes to stay in your area. So get right on that calendar and check it out. Uh, the best thing about the calendar is that you don't have to remember. You can look at it every day. It's available 24-7 and always keep checking back. I keep adding additional events as I find them. I'm super excited to present this week's program. Uh, we have uh, amazing artists in so many locations. The Finger Lakes keeps growing and the music scene never dies. Let's let's check it out. Well, let's check out some hot spots around the Finger Lakes. You know, it's uh, it's incredible uh, when you think about everything that we have to offer, but the Wayne County Fair up in uh, Palmyra this weekend is going to be a hot spot for you. In addition to all the great offerings that a uh, a county fair has their music programs pretty great on Thursday night uh, the 11th they're going to offer the Zach Brown tribute band at 8 30 at the main bandstand they got a great festival grounds up there very friendly and open lots of room for dancing and and uh, partying so get on over there on Friday night they're going to offer the Sky Coasters another great dance band out of Rochester at 8 30 and on Saturday um, even though their main event is the demolition derby which might in some of you to go to. They're also offering a really cool showcase of the Rockstar Academy. Rockstar Academy is a music school in East Rochester that offers programs to help develop up and coming artists, uh, youth and artists, and they'll be uh, showcasing those students all day long from 3 to 11. So find them at the festival grounds. My friends down at Scalehouse Brews, I, I know I talk about them a lot, but you know, when you're developing a music program that is it's just rock solid and includes all different kinds of music. You got to know about it. So Scale House Brewery is down on the east side of Seneca Lake. And this week they're going to offer uh, music on Thursday with Brothers Unknown. Friday they have a band called Stump, which should be really fun party night. And a local favorite, Hot Dogs and Gin, playing classic rock on Sundays. And not to mention, around on the flip side, they also offer music on Wednesday evenings. So uh, get on down there and check them out as soon as the... Uh, the season starts to, uh, uh, I can't say it. I'm born of the summer and I love the summer. As soon as the months start to click on, they'll offer an open mic night on Thursdays, which is super fun. Well, Auburn, uh, I'm also, again, from the top of the lakes, and Auburn, you never really think of Auburn as a great place to party, but oh my word, every week I'm discovering events, more and more events in Auburn, but I'd just like to highlight a few of them. Um, this week, they will be offering at Moondogs uh, Mark Doyle and the Maniacs on Thursday night. Uh, there's a concert at the Carriage House Theater. Uh, check that out on the calendar. I believe that's also Thursday with a band called Tangled Roots. Uh, Seb's Green Shutters in Down by the Lake offers the Stardusters All-Star Jazz Band every Thursday from 6 to 6 to 10. I don't think it's 6 to 10. It's got to be 6 to 9. Um, and also on the 13th... Um, which is Saturday, they're having Founders Day in Auburn. So there's a ton of events going on, including a Psychedelic Sushi, a psychedelic rock band that'll play at their newer Music on the Mall, which is on State Street, uh, Friday 7 to 9. And also on Saturday, again, back at Moondogs, Glass Image will be playing. All super great music events. Go check them out. There's lots of places to eat in Auburn. Um, there's other places uh, to enjoy beverages as well. Our friends down at Point in the Bluff continue their incredible music scene as well with a uh, with a nationally known act, His Golden Messenger, with uh, Afio Donovan, and they're playing some pretty cool original American folk, American songbook influenced music. Should be a super nice, mellow but grooving time down there on Saturday from. Um, 
it says six to eight, but it's, I think it's three o'clock in the afternoon. And in addition, Point of the Bluff offers a full music program starting on Thursdays with their Farmer's Market, uh, W.C. Edgar. Friday, Big Shrimp, which is a high-energy funk band. And Saturday, Uncle Ook and the guys is down there. And Sunday, the Boot Hill Band, which is a rock band with uh, blues, rock, and country influence. That should be a great weekend. If you're down in the Hammondsport area, you can spend your whole weekend right at Point of the Bluff. And, and they have great people and lots of things to offer. Um, also, another incredible music program is at the Grist Iron Brewery, which is also on the east side of Seneca Lake, and they offer music Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so that should be, uh, that should be a really good time. Let's check out some hot spots. No, some hot shots. You know, I've started to develop some favorites, so this week I'm going to uh, offer a few of my favorite female musicians. Hannah P.K. is a blues artist, and we talked about her earlier in the season. She's been playing around the country and is a part of the National Association for Blues Artists, uh, Women's Blues Artists, and she's playing at Big Alice on Friday from 6 to 9, Friday the 12th. Uh, Janet Batch is a, also a, a recording artist in the area. She, she hasn't played many concerts this summer, so uh, in this area she's been playing all over, but uh, you can catch her this Friday. Friday night at Three Bears, a part of the uh, farmer's market that starts earlier, but the concert's at 5.30, right on the grounds of the historic uh, Three Bears um, uh, lawn down there in Ovid. You'll find it. It's right in the middle of town. It starts at 5.30. Uh, Jen Cork is another uh, original singer-songwriter, and she'll be playing at the Finger Lake Cider House on Friday at 6 o'clock. Um, no, no, no. It's not Friday. She's playing on Sunday, uh, the 14th from 1 to 3, but uh, the Cider House does have music series every Friday, so you'll find music down there on Friday, too. So forget about that. Uh, the Temple Cabin Band is a, is a collection of fine artists that have played in different configurations throughout the Finger Lakes. They're going to be playing down at South Hill Cider. Aaron Lips in that band, so is Max Flansburg, two of our local famous guys. And at the Birdhouse Brewery on Sunday the 14th, you'll find a Pearl Jam tribute band called the Fakers. I think that's a cool name for a band. And they'll be playing from 4 to 6, so I hope you can make it over there. That's a drive over to Honeyway, but it's a gorgeous drive. If you're in the area, you can check out the uh, Cummings Nature Center, and there's a couple of other stops over in that area. There's uh, the, uh, yeah, Noble Craft Shepherd, Noble Shepherd Craft Brewery, and the Wizard of Clay, a super stop if you're going to make a day of it on Sunday. Check it out. And on to our tried and true. Well, a local artist, John Lamana, gets around quite a bit, and he has probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 events going on in the month of August, and he'll be uh, playing at Zugaby Sunset Series on Thursday nights. Zugaby has a Thursday night series every week, so check the calendar to see who's playing next. He's also going to play on, um, on Friday night at the Waterside Wine Bar in Phelps. Waterside also has live music on Fridays and Saturdays throughout the year. Yeah, and they have dinner. It's a nice place, fireplace. Well, we don't need that yet. <sighs> I don't want to talk about the end of summer. I can't do it. And we don't have to. It's August, the middle of August. Let's not, let's not project now. So Flint Creek is a, is a great rockin', bluesy country band that's going to light up the stage at Live After Five in Geneva on the lakefront starting on uh, 5.30 on Friday night. They're a super uh, fun group to watch and hear. And if you're in a boat, you can definitely hear them from the water. It should be fun. Uh, Peacemaker Brewery, another... Uh, Another owner, uh, Todd, shout out to Todd, who provides music for the community uh, almost every day of the week. Uh, on Friday, they'll offer the Rolling Heads Band, and there's music on Saturday with Dam Dog, and Sunday, Panda Handstand. I put that on there because I like the name. I have no idea what they play or if they're good or not, but, if, but they probably got cute stickers or t-shirts, Panda Handstand. That's cool. And don't forget that um, at Peacemaker every Tuesday, there's a hosted open mic. And, and Todd likes to uh, hire people from open mic. So if you're interested in becoming a musician or you have a set, a couple songs started, check it out and see uh, if you can impress them over there. You never know. You might get a gig. And another local favorite, the Miranda Cheese Barn in Waterloo, offers Petty Thieves, a classic rock band. Um, they have a beautiful 18-something barn that they've renovated. It's uh, 
it's an airy space. There's space to sit inside or outside, and, and frequently they, the uh, Rotary Club of Waterloo offers their food, so you're kind of doing two things at once. It's a free event with wine and beverages and uh, cheese and food available for you. I encourage you to check it out. They have ample parking, easy in and out, just a wonderful place to spend your Sunday afternoon. And my favorites and friends, uh, the Cool Club and the Lipker Sisters, they're, they've been playing so many places and some really nice and upscale places. They're, they're a, uh, a three female singer group. They've been singing since they were little kids. Uh, I met them about 10 years ago, so I've watched them grow and bloom into these amazing musicians. So they're continually adding new songs to their set list. Uh, they play old stuff like the Anderson Sisters, and they play a lot of jump, jive, boogie music. Uh, and the Cool Club uh, backs them up with some, some hot uh, horns and uh, Rick Hoy on the guitar. And it's a super great time. They're funny. They're cute. They, they dance. We dance. And um, if, if you head down to the Tin Barn Brewing, which is down near uh, Glenora Winery on the west side of Seneca Lake on Sunday the 14th, you can, you can find them down there from 2 to 5. Uh, that's a show I'd love to go to. So if you're there, say hi. In the something new category, I try to find things that are slightly off the beaten path and... Um, Maybe something that you haven't considered. So the band Folk Faces will play at Laurentide Brewery, and you can tell from the name they're going to play some American folk music. And, and the, the great thing about folk music is it can take on many different configurations, beats, and grooves. So check out bands that, uh, th that do that. And they're playing Saturday uh, the 13th from 5 to 8, and you can also catch Aaron Lip on Sunday from 1 to 4 on their regular uh, Sunday sessions. They have music just about every Sunday at, at Laurentide. And there's also pop-up events at Laurentide. I, I add them to the calendar, so I, I encourage you to get on flxmusic247.com uh, regularly to see what's coming up. New stuff every day. Um, up in Fairhaven, which is a community on the uh, shore of Lake Ontario. I don't know if you've been up there yet. It's gorgeous. Uh, there's many places to stop in, but the whole community of Fairhaven is uh, is, is hosting a porch fest. And a porch fest is where uh, several bands get sponsored by a home that has a, you know, a porch or some kind of uh, space in their front yard. And they just, you know, they get their power strip out, they plug in their stuff and they just start playing. Um, they're going to host that event from 12 to 5. There's 10, 12 bands and it's a super fun event you can just walk from one to the other and uh, hang out for as long as you want and move on to another spot and it's a it's a wonderful way to see a large variety of music in a relaxed setting take your lawn chair with you uh, so you can pop it up where you want to go uh, lots of people sit on the grass in front of the house it's it, they're really fun uh, I know we talked about one in June in Trumansburg Ithaca usually has one in uh, September so if you hear about one of those I encourage you to check it out it's really fun and the kids you know kids can do those things because you get to stop and listen and you know walk a little bit stop and listen walk a little bit so they can have fun too well down at the keg and barrel on saturday uh star groove which is uh, uh gonzo's band with a groove is, has added danny mac on saxophone that should be a rock and roll great time they uh gonzo writes most of his own original music and and he's a very adept uh, songwriter so they're there to provide party music. You'll get up and dance, I'm sure. Danny Beck's an awesome um, instrumentalist. And that's on the 13th from 6 to 9 down at Keg and Barrel in Cuca Lake. Um, I'd also like to note that two places that I recently found, whether or not they had live music events before, but I'm just finding them. Uh, Rooster Hill Vineyard on Cuca Lake is hosting a Tuesday night uh, concert series with uh, Jim Legs playing on August 16th, and Mike Lucy is a regular occurring uh, solo artist down there. That should be fun. And I also noticed that Cuca Spring uh, Winery has offer, is now offering uh, music and a special food event each week. Uh, Fresh Vintage will be down there on Sundays. So that'll be another wonderful afternoon for you. Take a drive down to Cuca Lake. Lots of things to see around Cuca Lake and many venues, and then find Cuca Spring and see what they have to offer. And this week I'd also like to introduce you to, I don't think I talked about it before, but um, I'm part of a group of musicians. Uh, Michael George Gonzalez is the official head of it, but it's called the Finger Lakes Independent Music Association. And if you're a musician and you'd like to uh, 
meet more people and, and have more musical opportunities, uh, talk about your music program or improve your playing skills. There's two opportunities each week that you can participate in a group and they're hosted open mics and sometimes there's a program, but at Tuesdays at Twisted Rail in Geneva, you can find people down there playing. And I think, um, I think, I don't know. Sometimes they have ukulele night. It'll be on the calendar, so check it out each Tuesday, sometimes a different theme. And on Wednesdays, alternating weeks, um, at Verona in Canandaigua or Rio, uh, Tomato in, in Canandaigua, there's also an open mic night, six to nine. And those are designed for you to come on in and, and meet people and expand your, your musician's network. Uh, it's been working. I mean, I've seen people that have come on in. We've heard and seen them play, and they've been able to pick up additional playing opportunities with different kinds of bands. So uh, it's definitely worth it if you're a motivated musician. Come on down and meet us and, you know, have some fun. Well, my coming up list got short suddenly because the first time I put September on there, I went, oh, no, I can't do it. So I'll be adding some more things uh, next week. But for right now, I'm just going to enjoy August as much as I can. I'm counting every single one of the days. So down in Watkins Glen this weekend will be the Watkins Glen Italian Festival. There's stuff all over the place. I'll get some uh, music on the, on the calendar if I can find it. And continuing now through next week is the Skinny Atlas Music Festival. And I know August 20th is the end of the festival with Christian McBride playing in Skinny Atlas. And it might be sold out. But a lot of those events are at Anula's um, Winery, Vineyard Winery, um, which is just gorgeous. So even if you don't catch concerts at those uh, for the Skinny Atlas Music Festival, I encourage you to get over to the Anulas Winery and hear their live music. And then down in Trumansburg area, the Chamber Music Festival coming up at New Park. And then there'll be the Barbecue Six down in Trumansburg. And my good friend and neighbor is uh, informed me that the SMS Italian Festival in Seneca Falls is happening on Labor Day weekend. That'll be fun. And of course, the ongoing and wonderful, incredible lineups of music uh, at Point of the Bluff and Lincoln Hill Farms. And I believe the Brewfest is on the 13th, so check that out. Uh, super fun. Just keep going. And if you haven't gone out yet this summer, if you haven't, oh, it's too hot. Oh, we have things to do. Oh, 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 oh. Remember the challenge at the beginning of the year to find one new place, just one new place. And summer's all about getting out, enjoying the weather, trying to relax, and making memories with your family. Uh, these events are things, like, if you, don't, if you don't make a point of doing something special, the summer's going to go by, and then you're going to say, what did we do last summer? You've got to have at least one or two things on that calendar that stand out for your own self and for your kids to make sure that they uh, remember their, the fun that they had in the Finger Lakes as a kid. All right. Well, this week, I'd, uh, I'd also like to encourage you, as always, to connect with me on Facebook. Uh, I have Instagram, and, um, you know, if you shoot me an email, I'll be happy uh, to help you find some music. If you need some music, I've been getting some emails of people looking for bands. I can help you with that. Uh, also love to hear your feedback at flxmusic247 at gmail.com. And we're going to keep it going. You know, let's just keep the site going. And this week's Artist of the Week, uh, I'd like to highlight Janet Batch. She's going to be the performer down at the Three Bears Historical Site in Ovid on Friday at 5.30. Um, I, as I mentioned before, she uh, plays many places, but not so many in the Finger Lakes just now. So if you are so inclined, go check her out. She plays solo down there, but she also has a band called The Four Bangers. Uh, she is an original artist and a singer-songwriter, and she, she writes her own stuff, you know, Songwriters do. They write their own stuff from what they know, their own perspective, what their feelings are, and just get those out in, their, in the language of their songs. And she combines old school country sound with uh, some, we call it Rust Belt. We're in the Rust Belt. Yeah, we still are in the Rust Belt, but maybe, maybe, maybe we won't be someday, but we still are. And so she writes contemporary themes in her music. And every, every story Every song tells a story, and she has a new album out called You Be the Wolf, so check that out. You can find her at JanetBadge.com, and on her Facebook, she has links to her live music. Um, well, what are you going to do? Last week, I went on a four, 
I already four. I saw four bands in one day, so it was really fun. Just use a calendar, make it make a day, uh, get together with a friend or a family, a loved one, or go out by yourself. I actually have been enjoying going out by myself a few times because I get to focus right on the music and the band, and uh, and and really listen to what's going on. But um, there's cornhole games everywhere and frisbees and all sorts of stuff. So go out and have some fun. It's, uh, it's still the top of the music season. So get on out there, and we'll see you around. Thanks so much. Thank you.